he's been just a shining star all year, Stroman. He's really stepped up. He's had a great year, closing in on almost 200 innings. When he comes to the ballpark, he's ready to pitch. And he strikes out on the changeup. Nito slaps a tag on him, and that's the first out of the day. Stroman fanning Chisholm. One out. A little late movement, and the fish are biting. <laughs> no pun intended. Jesus Sanchez steps in. And sends one out to left field. It'll drop in front of Pilar. And a base hit for Jesus to keep the first inning going. Runner goes, pitches low, and Nito's throw right on target, and he got him. Tomas Nito guns down Jesus Sanchez to end the inning. Zach Thompson goes right now. This will be his 14th start this season. His first in the month of September, however, where he has been used solely as a reliever. 230 pounds of Zach Thompson, the 2-0. Nimmo hits it hard on the ground, fair down the first base line, a base hit. He's going to roll to the corner. Nimmo's on his way to second base. Jesus Sanchez, the right fielder, has trouble. Nimmo's taken off for third. Relay throw won't be made. Head first dive, a leadoff triple for Brandon Nimmo. Just sparks the team right there. He's now tied for the team lead with three triples. That ball was perfectly rolled toward the right field corner, straight over the first base bag. And Sanchez had to go searching for it along the sidewall into that corner. Kind of kicked it for a moment. That allowed Nimmo to get the extra base going all the way to third. They have scored as a triple. That's lined toward the middle. Base hit for Lindor. And that'll bring in Nimmo with the game's first run. So Nimmo triples. Lindor singles him home. one nothing New York. Okay, the Mets are off hot. There's a little slider right there, a little cutter that didn't cut. And so far, Mr. Thompson is off to an inauspicious start. Big breaking ball finds the inside corner and it called strike three Conforto down looking for the first out. And Pete hits one through the vacant right side for a base hit. Lindor will easily go first to third. Alonzo didn't get much of that but there was nobody playing on that side of the infield and that's the third hit of the inning for New York. Thompson not exactly stretched out to give the Marlins five tonight. Zach does have a couple of strikeouts in this first inning and there are two away two thirds of clean baseball earlier this month. There's a called strike three on the outside corner as he gets three K's in the first, but the Mets get a run. Marlins go to their bullpen. Dan Castano, first time we've seen Dan since early May. Donnie kind of working for the matchups. Well, Castano's got a couple of relatively quick outs here in the second inning. Stroman hits a one hopper down to third and Alvarez throws it wide he threw it away and Stroman who wasn't even running will be safe at first base. Well he's a pitcher it's OK. They got a pitch. Stroman oh. takes off for second and the throw goes into center field and he'll go to third. How about that. Marcus Stroman getting a walking lead took off long before Castano came out of his stretch stole the bag easily and took third on the throwing error by Fortes first career stolen base for Marcus Stroman first career steal to get to second and an E2 got him to third and Nimmo with a fly ball out to right field Sanchez underneath it will make the catch and the Marlins avoid big trouble there in the inning. 1 1 pitch to Jazz, and he lays down the bunt. This one up the third baseline. Stroman's throw is late, and Jazz beats it out. Marlins have him on the corners with one away. Jazz lays down a fantastic bunt. So we've had two good bunts and a walk, and you got runners on the corners in the middle of your lineup coming up. 1 2 coming, runner goes, swing and a miss. Throw from his knees by Nito, and Baez makes the tag before the run can cross the plate. Strike him out, throw him out, double play. Baez, the magician, makes the tag on Chisholm. Caught it, tagged him all in one motion. Brilliant. And that's how athletic he is. Tremendous foot speed, hand speed, baseball instincts. Lindor out to center, racing in. Sierra makes a sliding catch in center field. Spectacular play from Magnarese for the first out here in the third. And Fordo at first with two out. That's ripped in the center field, a base hit for Baez. So Javi continues to produce the hits. He now has an 11 game hitting streak and a 20 game on base streak. That's looped into right field, coming in quickly. Sanchez diving, he can't make the catch. 
In the score comes Conforto. On the third goes Baez. A bloop single for VR to drive in a run. It's 2 0 New York. Sanchez got a bit of a late break on that ball. He could not make up as much ground as Sierra did on his play earlier in the inning, and he came up a little short. There goes VR. The throw is well offline from Fortes, and VR walks into second base. Grounded down to third. Alvarez boots it. Oh boy. That'll bring in another run. It's been a rough day for Alvarez. He made a throwing error in the last inning and now has a routine ground ball go off his glove for an error that brings in Baez and makes it 3 0. Fortes held on to it. Bat went flying. The inning is over. Lewin Diaz ground down to first, his first time up. And pitch number eight is hit a ton out to right. Oh, into the upper deck for Lewin Diaz. A big two run shot, and it gets the Marlins right back in the game. Gaining momentum as this at bat goes on, had seen the entire arsenal. Well, he got a hanging splitter on the eighth pitch of this at bat, and he goes upper tank. Pulled on the ground. Nice diving stop, Alonzo. He hits Stroman on the move. Beautifully done to retire Chisholm. What is this? And a little piggyback ride at the end. Quite a play by Alonzo. Good job by Stroman getting over there and a good throw. Well, nice play by Pete. And I got no comment on the theatrics after. So one out now, Pete Alonzo. Pete is single to right and fouled out. And that's it hard toward the whole base hit. And Alonzo has his second hit of the night. This one a scorcher by a diving Alvarez for his uh. second hit. Toward the hole, that's a base hit for Baez. So back to back base hits for Alonzo and Baez to put two men aboard in the fifth. Nito the batter with the bases loaded and two out. Pops one two. Swing and a miss for strike three. A huge strikeout to leave the bases loaded and keep this a one run game. And Seth Lugo on to pitch for the Mets as we go to the sixth. Swing and a miss and Sanchez down on strikes. Lugo blows a fastball by him for the first out. Again the 2 2 to Fortes. And he struck him out with high heat. So Lugo with an impressive inning gets the side out 1 2 3 with a couple of strikeouts. So one out and one on. And now Francisco Lindor. And that's driven to deep left field. Forget that. Lindor started this game with an RBI single and gives the Mets insurance with a two run homer 19th home run of the year for Lindor his second in two games and now the Mets have some breathing room it's five to two New York just his fifth home run as a right hand batter and there was no doubt about it Edwin Diaz on to try for his 31st save of the year Alvarez a comeback and a strikeout and he goes down swinging so six pitches two outs for Diaz one two coming he struck him out and the ball game is over a one two three seventh for Diaz and the Mets snap a five game losing streak as they take the opener of the doubleheader from the Marlins five to two.